to the official 2017 Facebook live stream of the University YMCA. And we'll just turn this around. Right here at the corner of Wright and Chalmers in Champaign. I will be your host for our open house tonight, taking you on a tour of this lovely Tuesday evening of all the mingles and activities, celebrating people and programs that make this place great. I just wanted to shout out to everybody who gave to my fundraiser today. Uh, we hit a goal of $1,000, which is amazing. So thanks to everybody for giving to that fundraiser. That's going to be matched, so it's actually $2,000. So that is really great. So if you want to still give, you can actually find a donate button at the bottom of this live stream page here and you can donate that way and your gift will still be matched tonight by the Gates Foundation. That's today only so you can keep that going, keep that Why Love going and you can also give on uh, Mike's fundraiser which is on our Facebook page. So thanks to you we're able to keep that work going, keep building the next generation of leaders supporting social justice, environmental protection, interfaith dialogue and global engagement. So thanks to you, we're able to make that possible and keep it going and grow our collective impact year after year. So I'm going to just switch it around and we're gonna take a little tour besides yours truly, giving you the guide for this evening. We're going to check out a couple other handy guides over here at the check-in table with the Zoe Foot, American Miracle Vista volunteer, an amazing just all around person of the Y. I know. So here we are with our Y passport, our passport to the Y. This is a way for you to just keep track of all the people and the programs you've checked out. So if you're talking to the student board, you're talking to Y student programs, you stamp that passport. Exactly. If you're talking to Y programs are at the Y. You saw Anne, you saw Nishant, or Casey, or Morella talking about Bailey or Dumpin' Run, stamp that passport. Yes. The, and the point is to get as many stamps as possible and also just meet some really great people, mingle, have some food, but unfortunately you can't have this lovely food and I wish this had like, came with like smell-o-vision. So you also just smell with your eyes. Yes, check everything out. It's every great spread, but hey, if you have to go take a break, stir your spaghetti sauce tonight, take your dog out for a walk, that we understand. We'll still be here live. If we're not, check it out. You can still give. But thanks, Zoe. Thank you for showing passports to the Y. I'm going to take this. There you go. And we're going to go with this passport on a little tour. Follow me. Okay. All right. So let's see what we got here. Oh, the Sierra Leone Project. Doing some really great work. Right here. Yeah, exactly what she said. She was there for two weeks. What's your name? I'm Sam. Sam? Yeah. Were you a part of the Sierra Leone project? I was. You want to tell me a little bit about it? Sure. So I went to Sierra Leone over the summer um, for two weeks, and we were basically helping create a business model for this furniture startup. Um, right there is a prototype of what they're making. Um, so yeah, they basically had a business model to help employ the unemployed youth and to generate some revenue for the Sierra Leone YMCA and their other projects. That's awesome. That's awesome. And you also built a well this past summer too, right? That you helped dig a well. We did not help dig the well, oh, yeah, but I know they did. They right, did have a well yeah. project, so we visited like four or five of the wells. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome to see. Yes. Well, thanks for showing me. Let's check out some of these pictures. So yeah, there's our the Y group with the Sierra Leone YMC group digging a well, and thanks to Rotary Club and Hadi Canadis, they they helped get that going and also set up the furniture project. So that's pretty exciting. And you can see a little bit of work on their project chair assembly. And they brought us this lovely model here. So we're gonna go say bye. Thanks. Hi. Thanks for showing. Thanks for showing and telling. Let's see we got art at the Y here. I was wondering what this was here. Looks like oh cider. Nice. Wish y'all could have some of this. So, anyway, I stamped my passport check, and along this wall here, you're going to see all the various 
art exhibitions that have come through the area, come through this area here. We're actually in Murphy Gallery. You can see some of the work that's currently on the wall. It's called Space for the Mind, uh, Activism Through Inclusion and Self-Care. And it's actually a student-led student -led project. So we collaborated this fall semester with the uh, art exhibition course. Uh, and they learned about our public arts initiative. And they put together this wonderful piece about self-care and how that's a political act to take care of yourself as you're and you're working towards social change. Here, we've got to meet you. Oh, I'm live. I'm on Facebook Live. Oh, hi, it's Tyler. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to point that. Yeah, I'm live. Hello. Here we got Interfaith in Action, Student Group of the Y. These student leaders, along with other student leaders, getting involved in various interfaith dialogue and service projects, doing some really great work here. And then we've got a lovely spread of cookies, again, and, and grapes. Again, I wish I could have some of this pure with us. We're going to head over to Latzer. Oh, I'm having a great hearing. Hall, which is, if you know about why things and love the why, you'll know that's your place to catch all the Friday Forum lectures. And look at it now, it is full of people, full of friends, mingling, learning more about why stuff, celebrating why programs. Wow. This is the student board table, humans of Stubo. It's exciting. Meet all the different student board members. Check out their profiles. Some very cool people doing some great work here. Thank you guys for the clients. So if you want to, yeah, give it a tour of the space, stamping passports together. So we're gonna stamp our passport. Did you grab one? Yeah, I need to grab one. I actually forgot to grab one when I talked to Sierra Leone, but we'll do that here. Student board. Let me show. Sure. All right, so yeah, talked, checked out student board, met some members, stamped it, check it out. Actually, I meant to switch it over, but I just like <laughs> live streamed my face. We're live right now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, so the other great student groups here, La Collectiva. Thanks more of that. Oh really cool yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. How's it going? Good. How's it going over going, here? Going good. Going good. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about La Collectiva. What Lock you're Lock doing? Team. Sure. So we are an immigration justice group on campus, mm -hmm. uh, focusing on three main things. One, doing different civic actions in the community, benefiting both campus and the larger Champaign-Urbana community. Uh, we do some fundraising for an undocumented scholarship that we do um, for students that come here on campus and then just different uh, bonding communities with, with each other too. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. That's awesome. Can I uh, get a stamp yeah. for you? Stamp my passport. Thank you. Here we go. Alright. Alright. On, on to more great things. That is why student programming. Red Bison. Hi. Yeah. Hello. Red Bison. Red Bison. Do you want to tell me a little bit about what Red Bison does? Yeah, of course. All right. Let's oh, do it. on camera. Oh, sure. Let's do this. Well, we are the ecological restoration group, <laughs> no, part of the Y, and we spend every meeting outside, usually once a week every Sunday, and we go out and we remove invasive plant species and we plant a lot of native ones. Oh, very cool. Yeah, every Sunday. Yes. And you could actually like campus and community, they can come out and join you. Yeah. Very cool. Where do you meet? Um, different sites near campus and sometimes driving distance, but we do carpool. Um, I would say mostly we do the South Arboretum Woods, which is just at the corner of Lincoln and Windsor. Um, we also do stuff right by the President's House, so the Florida Orchard Prairie. Okay, great, great. So people can sign up, they can find you on Facebook, yes. all that good stuff. Yeah, we have buttons with the name of our Facebook on them, and then 
nice. We also have people just writing their emails down if you want to get on our list. I got a red bison one. That's awesome. <laughs> I, oh, I want to stamp my passport. All right. Oh, yeah. Can you help me out here? Yeah, of course. I talked to red bison, so I get to stamp my red bison passport section. Very cool. So we also have a bunch of native plant seed packets here if you're interested. Oh, native plant seed packets. Yeah, so this yes. is the And then I've got Harry Mountain over there. Oh, hey, wow. Jenna. You hand me one of those. Thank you. Yeah, they're really good for pollinators. And really easy to grow. You just have to sprinkle them on dirt in the spring and they'll germinate. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Alright, so I appreciate you. Took some time to meet a few folks. I think we're gonna get started with some of tonight's activities. Let's see. Oh wait, here's a Amnesty yeah. International. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Good, how's it going? Hey, doing alright. You want to tell me a little bit about Amnesty International, what y'all do? Sure. Um, so, you want to start? <laughs> um, so, Amnesty International, it's the largest uh, grassroots human rights organization in the world. Um, we kind of focus on bringing awareness of different human rights abuses happening both here at the US, in the U.S. and across the world. Um, and we do different campaigns to kind of mobilize people, um, get them educated, and just kind of show that there's a global lens watching different countries um, committing human rights abuses. Um, yeah. Right now, we're focusing on right for rights, and so Big Amnesty chose 10 cases, and for those 10 cases, we specifically want to focus on these four cases. So this case right here is Rashakila Jackson. Her brother was actually killed um, by police officers in Jamaica, and she's called, we're calling for the government to protect her and her family from being harassed by police officers. This letter is about forced disappearances, so that means the government is kidnapping people and withholding information from their families for years and years, so we're calling the government to stop forced disappearances. This one is about a man who has seven children. He spoke out against the government on social media, and so the actually the government actually imprisoned him. He taught, taught tuberculosis in prison. So, and they're denying medical treatment, so we're calling on the government to provide them with medical treatment. And the last case is about environmental rights. This organization is trying to stop a pipeline for being built on the Native American land. And so, something similar that was happening in America, but that's in Honduras. And so we want people to sign one or all four, which I'm going feel comfortable with. And we're going to bombard the governments with these letters. And when they get thousands and thousands of letters from people all around the world saying, we're watching you and this is not unacceptable, they actually um, free the prison. So this actually works, but this is the campaign that Amazon is founded on. So you can sign the letters. <laughs> Thanks for sharing with me. I appreciate it. I actually brought my passport with me. Oh, great. And I get to stay my passport. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I got to learn more about really cool Amnesty International stuff. I'm going to catch y'all at your rights, Right for Rights campaign. It's kicking off tonight. You can join and do this tonight, but they're going to be all around campus too in the coming weeks. So we're going to say bye to Amnesty. Bye. Bye. Alright. Want to talk to Amy? Okay. Alright. So. If you want to give to the University of Y, just a quick reminder, you can click the donate button here at the bottom of the live stream feed, or you can also click it on our page. Again, the Gates Foundation is generously offering this matching opportunity for your gift today only, so you can still give to the Y and your impact will be doubled great and uh, so you can do that up until midnight tonight so that's really cool uh, and just wanted to thank you again for again supporting these campus, issues, campus and community issues and us coming together to work on and change together so we're gonna get this started pretty soon and Nancy, yes, has been leading the way amongst other amazing committee members 
of Friday Forum bringing us speakers and talking about issues of the day. So Yeah, we were really excited about the environmental series that just got over with. So. Yeah, people yeah. should comment if they have you should comment if you have ideas for what you want to see us do in our next series. Because we're collecting ideas. You've got oh, some good Oh, wow. Ones we're collecting yeah. ideas for the Spring 2018 series. So if you've got some ideas for some upcoming lectures in the spring, let us know. We're doing it tonight, but you can also email us, let us know. Talk to Nancy, talk to Casey. Very cool. Sorry you can't join us, but we're having a great time here at the Y. All right, very cool, yeah. All right, so we're going to get started here in a bit, and uh, let's go. All right. We'll talk to alternative seasonal breaks soon, but you can say hi to them. Doing cool stuff. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Taking service trips, doing cool things, being super leaders together, coming back and making some impact in their own communities. As alternative seasonal break says, go somewhere and do something, make some changes. It's the Moss. This is Diamond. Oh, <laughs> what is this? I'm, uh, I'm doing a tour of the Wise Open House tonight. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Yes, good to see you too. Yes, thank you. Yes, I really appreciate that. Filming the whole thing. Yeah, filming gotcha. the whole thing. Got gotcha. yep, yep. Keep it cool. Yep, yep, we are. We'll, we'll, we'll catch up with Diamond later. Thanks. But we're going to talk I want to I want to thank everyone for coming out tonight. Um, it's very exciting to see everyone here, and it's a great opportunity for us to share a lot of the great work that our students do and the connections between the university Y and the community. So we're really appreciative of the people that are coming out and sharing the evening with us. We're also live on Facebook, so in a second, guys, everyone give a big round of applause for the folks who are joining us from uh, online. So how about that? <laughs> so welcome folks who can't be here. Sorry you're not able to join us. Um, I do want to say that if you've been in this room and you haven't been in the other room, we have another set of programs that are over there in the Murphy Lounge. Uh, and again, I want to emphasize that if you get your passport and get your stickers on there, if you stop by and talk to some of the students or the other programs that we have here, there's a drawing later on uh, that we'll be having for all of you. Everyone's paying attention, so I feel like I should be saying more, but I also want you to enjoy the evening and not sit here and listen to me. So thank you everyone for coming and have a good night. check out some more programs and happenings, but just wanted to thank you again for helping support us, supporting, again, our next generation of leaders who are giving back to the community and uh, working towards social justice, environmental protection, encouraging faith in action, and uh, promoting global engagement. So. I really, we really appreciate your help. You can still give. Click in the donate button below on the live stream page. Your gift will be matched tonight, um, up to today only through the Gates Foundation. So we really appreciate uh, that generous opportunity, that generous contribution. So we're just going to learn a little bit more about some other groups, and we're going to get our passport stamped. And we're gonna call it a night. Wish you could all be here, but glad. Oh, hey, Nora. I love you, love you too. That's so great. Yeah, leave us comments if you want to show some my love. If you like anything you see, or want to give and let us know, do it. Yes. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Nora. Hi. Hi, Nora. Okay. Oh, we're going to go talk to alternative seasonal breaks. Alright. Alright, here we go. So, here is alternative seasonal breaks.
bikes, doing some cool stuff. They go on service trips, they travel the country, as you can see here, travel the country, but they also meet new people. And they also really make some great uh, service trips around covering issues from homelessness to uh, emergency, uh, housing, animal rights, issues, environmental conservation. They do some really cool stuff. Learning a little bit about it now, but they're making a making our spiel here. But yeah, so they go on service trips throughout the they're all throughout the nation. Winter, spring, uh, fall, summer, and they come back and use what they've learned in the communities and really make an impact back here and in their communities back home. So we're gonna take it over to Green Observer. I was helping it out. Climb in my face again. Hi, it's Green Observer. The Environmental Student Magazine. Doing cool stuff. Hi, yay. Yeah. So, do you all want to give me a little spiel about Green Observer and how cool Green Observer is? I'm not an editor in chief. They all have their. You guys can spiel it out. Check it out. All their. Magazine editions is the latest one here, October. You can catch it on stands now. They also have a, a lovely website up, new website. Looks great. So sleek. So sleek. Look at that. I could scroll for days. <laughs> yeah, we read some really great literature on all things happening on campus in the community that it's environmental. Yes. Uh, we're going to catch it with uh, Emily here. Hi, we're the Green Observer. We're the only student-run environmental publication on campus. We publish twice a semester, so four times a year, and we write about environmental issues on campus. And also, we're broadening our horizon and writing about international environmental issues. All right, so cool. Thank you. more about that again they have a wonderful website I'm gonna get my passport stamp if I can get it open here. Ah oh, yay thank you Green Observer. Thank you. Alright. Bye. Bye bye everybody. Good night. Love y'all. Love you. Give me a little spiel about the amazing things that you do. Yeah, so this is uh, VCB. It's a student organization here at the Y where we help um, tutor in local classrooms, um, kindergarten through 12th grade, and really any subject that's that's available. And if you're interested, swing on by. All right, very cool. Yeah, VCB doing some great stuff there in all like nearly all the great schools here locally and provide really valuable tutoring service and the extra support that class is so greatly needed. So I know our local school teachers really appreciate Weasby as well. And if you appreciate Weasby and all the work of the Y and want to show some more love, again, you can donate today on our donate button at the bottom of this Facebook Live. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to say bye to Weasby. Bye. 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 Have a good night. Thanks. Going back to Murphy, we took a quick little tour in here. Interfaith in Action was a little busy at the moment, but we wanted to come by and say hey. I want to get, I want to get some of that cider. I wish I could have some of the cider. And and made some great cider and raspberries. Some cinnamon sticks in it. I'm excited. Anyway, I will quit torturing y'all with this descriptions of cider smells and we'll check out interface and action work so you can read a little bit about what they do they host various dialogues with our interface and action so you can see the dialogue events that happen right here in Murphy so we have first Tuesday dialogue series it happens on the first Tuesday every month there's actually one coming
Oh, we're back. Speed's frozen a little bit. Not the, not the greatest connection. But it looks like we're having some good conversation over here, so I won't interrupt. But, uh, again, it's been lovely to have you with me this evening. Thanks for allowing me to host all of you, show you around, getting our passport stamped together, uh, showing some more I love. And, uh, again, button at the end of this Facebook live feed here or you can do it on our uh, on our Facebook page which again will be matched today and today only so that's really exciting so again thank you so much for everybody who's given today to our fundraiser I know last time I checked on my fundraiser we were like over a thousand that's amazing and you can also give on Mike's fundraiser so we just saw Mike a minute ago he's raising funds too the Gates Foundation is only matching up to a thousand per fundraiser. So, if you want your impact to double, you can go to Mike's fundraiser and do that now. So, and uh, that's happening till midnight tonight. Oh, we got some likes. Yes, hello. Uh, so you can do that up until midnight tonight. So thank you everybody for hanging out with me and meeting some Y student groups. We learned about a lot of amazing initiatives and got to talk to a couple of folks from our Y program, Friday Forum, doing some really cool stuff. You can actually, they're actually taking suggestions for some upcoming lectures for the spring. So if you got ideas for speakers and topics, let them know. And we also talked to our folks over at the Sierra Leone Project and checked out some artwork. Uh, so that's pretty cool a pretty great night so I'm gonna sign off now so I'm gonna try some of this cider but sorry again I'll quit torturing you with the cider business but all right well y'all have a good night and see you again soon all right bye bye friends love you